Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'm going to share with you this epic Warhammer Hobby Haul. I didn't post any videos yesterday because I took a fun road trip to Southampton to meet my uncle and then on to London to pick up this huge haul of Warhammer hobby items. I got back really late last night, unpacked it all and here it all is today laid out on the table and it's an incredible amount of stuff here and I've got to say a massive thank you to Terry. Terry's been supporting me on the channel since I started and now he's retiring from the hobby, he wanted to give me this opportunity to take on his collection and he gave it to me at a fantastic price and I can't thank him enough. This is really his way of showing support for the channel going forward and this is just a huge amount of cool stuff that he's given me at a great price and I can't thank him enough. I'm overwhelmed to be honest. So I thought it'd be fun to share everything we've got here and show you what you can expect to see on the channel and I've saved the best bit to go through near the end of the video. I'm so grateful for this, I feel really lucky, but let's get started and we'll go through everything so you can have a real good look at it all. But before we dive into everything, there were these models included, and I don't recognise them, I've looked online and tried to find them, maybe from a Warhammer Quest game, and I couldn't find an edition or which game they were from, so if you've got any idea, it would be awesome if you could let me know in the comments section below. There's the hero figures, there's four altogether. Then there's lots of these, not just the four you see in the picture. And then lots of Skaven as well. And these would have had a shield too. So yeah, if you've got any idea what they are, I'd really appreciate you adding it in the comment section below. Okay, first up, there's a huge selection of games. We've got Curse City, Warcry Catacombs, the original starter set, and Red Harvest. Kill Team's in amongst all this as well. There's some great additional items like these trays for Warcry. And these boxes here are filled with models from all the different games. We've got a little bag here, a mystery bag. Let's check out what's inside. And this is all the terrain from Red Harvest. Now this has all been put together and primed already, which is great because that's going to save me loads of time. And now with this extra terrain, this is going to be perfect for when I start doing the How to Play Age of Sigma videos and doing the small battles for that. We've got models everywhere. There's different storage boxes for them, including this one here, which has got all the foam inserts. So lots of the war bands are in there. Let's take a look. Let's get it open and we can have a quick look inside. So this is the Citadel box and this comes with all this wiggly foam. So this allows you to put models in. It's great for Warcry with all the different shapes and sizes you get. And then you can put two layers in each pocket of foam. So you can get two war bands in there. Well, probably two war bands per tray, to be fair. So you can get quite a lot going on. Here's my favourite model ever, the, the Corvus Cabal. I love that warband, great model. And then let's have a look at the other ones. We've got some Orcs down here, some great models. These are really cool. So that's going to be awesome to add to my Orc collection. And you'll see these featured in a combat patrol for Warhammer 40,000 battle report as soon as I get these painted up. So that's really great. Then we've got these two huge boxes from Feldher here, and these are packed with terrain and miniatures, all custom-made terrain foam inserts. This one's got Warcry terrain and warbands inside, so let's get this big lid off, and this is huge. So this has all been painted, and you can see it all in the tray there, all neatly and safely stored in these pluck-out trays. And then underneath it's got cards, it's got different models from different warbands, so all really well protected and packed away in that big box. And here we've got Kill Team in this one, so we're going to get an extra board. Again, perfect for Combat Patrol. I can add that to the board I've already got, and then I can put some more Orc Commandos in the army as well. So this is great. So with all the Orcs here, I think I've got enough points for a Combat Patrol Battle Report and some more Krieg ones as well to add to my Astra Militarum collection that I'm putting together. And of course, loads more terrain, which is going to really fill out a 40k size board. Right, this next set of storage boxes is really exciting. All these ones here, the Feldher bags, have got all the expansions and the main game of Blackstone Fortress in. So each one of these has got an expansion. This is the Deadly Alliance one. And this has got the custom tray inside with the model, the cards and tokens. So this is great. I really love this look of um, Blackstone Fortress. But I've never bought it, but I think now having the models is going to be awesome to give the game a go and also use a lot of the models in the other games as well because they cross over to Age of Sigmar and 40,000. This has got the main game 
all in there. So that's all in that one compartment or lots of foam compartments in that one bag. Then more expansions in these boxes, again from Felder, and we've got two expansions in each one. So there's going to be lots coming here for Blackstone Fortress. A few of the models are painted, but quite a lot aren't. So I'll be doing some painting videos for those and gameplay. Continuing with the Blackstone Fortress, Terry's put together these protective trays for all the tiles from the game, which is a great idea. So he's took this foam, cut out all the different shapes, so all the tiles stack in there. They're all numbered, labelled, and there's templates so you know which tiles go and where. And so that stops them from warping. It's going to really make them last. So this is a really nice idea, and they can all fit in this toolbox here. This big plastic box you can see here has got Talisman 4th Edition. Now this isn't the sort of game I'd usually feature on the channel. I don't play um, like the board games really. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons is always something I've been interested in and I've never featured that either. Um, but I do like the look of this Talisman. It looks awesome. There's no miniatures in here but with enough miniatures in the collection could certainly proxy them but all organised with all the different cards here. So I might be this giving this a go. If anyone's interested in seeing it, I can certainly make some videos here on the channel. So let me know in the comments section below if this is something you'd be interested in seeing. Um, definitely have a game though with the family. It looks awesome fun. I love the artwork on it and the style. So yeah, if you want to have a look at that, let me know and I'll feature it for sure. The most exciting part of this for me is the paint collection. We've got all these brushes, there's different tufts, um, the handle, all the different tools. So this is going to be really great to add to the brushes and everything I've got already. There's a full range of Vallejo paints, all the contrast paints here. So this is huge. I mean, this is going to help so much with the channel and it's going to help me improve my painting, especially with all these Vallejo paints and all the different tones colors and this is something I'm keen to be doing and improving on as um, I kind of grow the channel. I definitely want to be improving my painting and trying out different things and so here we've got all the airbrush improvers, primers because this collection comes with an amazing airbrush setup and that's what we're going to take a look at next. And here it is, we've got a compressor, we've got the airbrush, we've got this paint shaker, I think it's the Vortex paint shaker so this is going to be fantastic for getting all the um, Games Workshop Citadel paints mixed properly. So that's brilliant. So really looking forward to giving that a go. Never used that before. And then we've got the Infinity Airbrush. And this is just beautiful, top quality. This is going to be amazing to learn for. And I'm going to document the process here on the channel. So as I learn how to use this, I'll be sharing it with you, showing you how I get through every stage from the basics right through to painting an army of Tyranids that I'm going to dedicate to Terry to express my thanks a little bit further. And here's the Sparmax air compressor that goes with it. Beautiful. It looks like an amazing machine. And I can't wait to get it all out, put together and give it a go. Up here, we've got the vent that goes with the um, box that you spray in. And so it sucks the air out. And you can pop that through the window and the cleaner here at the top. So I'll be able to do all this anytime I like. Can't wait to prime indoors. That's going to be fantastic. And here's this little box, this extractor. And this is cool. It just opens up and builds into a little spray booth. So I'm going to make a dedicated desk space for this. So it's always set up and then I can paint, get going really quick and easily. So this is awesome. You just line it with paper to keep it nice and clean. There's a little turntable to use if you want to. And so this is going to be really amazing and it's going to help me get these armies painted a lot quicker as well. And then here's lights that you can put all around the edge as too. And on top of that, there's a spare compressor and this big box of goodies that you can see here with all sorts inside. So there we go. That's my huge Warhammer hobby haul. And I can't wait to make videos about loads of this. Of course, I've done Curse City and Warcry before, but I can use all that for Age of Sigmar. The paints I can certainly share and my journey as I go through learning how to do the airbrushing is going to be really fun. I can't wait to make the video series for that. But again, Seri, thank you so much. This is incredible of you. I can't believe your kindness and generosity. I really appreciate it so much. So thank you. And this is going to really help me develop and grow the channel. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the haul out on the table. And if there's anything in particular you're interested in seeing, I'd be really interested to find out what that is. And if you've got any tips or questions, add them down in the comments section below. It'd be great to hear from you. The rest of my weekend is going to be organising my room, getting everything put away, setting up that table so I can have a proper painting station. And I'll do a room tour, actually, once it's all done. That would be really fun to show you where I do everything for the channel. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>